Okay, this is a video on a trade I recently received from two people. Uh, one is Potty314, Michael from Germany, aka Deutschland. And uh, everything in here he sent me in a package, and I'd like to quickly go over it. Um, I sent him my package. I received this uh, the other day. Hopefully he gets mine soon. And I asked him for... You guessed it, Euro cylinders, because I do not have a lot, so. Um, this one was labeled uh, No Clip. This is a uh, Zeiss Icon. Let's see. There we go, Zeiss Icon. And because of the tailpiece, uh, there's no type of clip, so you just have to be careful with that. Very cool lock. Uh, here is a Texas Gym Challenge Lock. This is an Iseo. I actually picked this uh, last night and did a very bad job gutting it. I didn't use a shim and I spilled all the drivers everywhere and ruined one of the uh, springs. But I put it back together and it's actually harder to pick now. It still works fine. Okay, So it made its way from America to Europe back to the US and then here this one is a Dom S labeled S uh, this one does not have the key says it's very difficult uh, very interesting rewarding so thank you for that one I like that a lot and then here we have I'm not sure what marking that is the key says or key 1318 on it. I'm not sure. I think that's just the brand of the the key. I'm not sure what uh, that marking is. Very uh, restrictive keyway. Nice. And then this one here is an Avis. Two five pin lock. Okay, very nice. Uh, all these locks work very well with the key. And here, this is one of my favorite ones. This is like a cabinet lock or something. It's a looks like a five pin lock, but it's actually four pins. And it turns 90 degrees to the left. Um, I think in order to remove the, uh, the plug, you have to push a pin out to the bottom. Push this pin out. Um, I'm thinking, but I'm not 100% sure. That's what it looks like, though. Mm, yeah, something. I think that has to do with it. Uh, it's unmarked, but the uh, key says CES, so that's a very nice one. Thank you. And this is part of his Dom Challenge locks. Uh, I'm thinking. Very nice warding there. Very challenging warding. It's a 5-pin lock, so I think this is one of the Doms that he pinned up with some of the wafer drivers, so that will be interesting. So far, the only one I picked was the uh, Isaiah from Texas Gym, uh, so uh, the other ones I really haven't had a chance to dive in. Uh, this one is a BKS, and the key is labeled PZ, and then on the other side, BKS. This works very nicely. It's a 5 pin lock, very challenging bidding. Okay, then here is a Wilka lock, and this is a five or six, one, two, three, a six pin lock, very nice. Okay, Wilka, and sometimes I have numbers on there, Wilka, see, very nice. And this one is a CES. And it is labeled, I guess that's their brand, CES, I see. And I can't really make it out, but I, I see some letters in there. I'm thinking that's CES. I like how the top of the keyway comes to a point like that. Very cool. Works very nice. Nice lock. I like that one. I like all these locks so far. I mean, these are all great. Okay. This one is a five pin a shed that's being held in by this uh, actuator here with a roll pin so I'm thinking when I, it's time to get it I have to knock out this roll pin take off this piece and uh, maybe take out a clip it looks like there's a, a clip
clip in there if you can see it right down there and then it will come out and somebody has beaten this uh, vachette it says on here so it looks like that was beaten before so probably it done uh, it did something unacceptable this is a doesn't have a name on it. I like the warding very cool keyway and uh, this says Augsburg on the top Schlusen and then Fritz I think maybe that's the name of the company that makes the key or the business look at that key very cool all those uh, different uh, zigzags very cool okay I like that one and then this one here does not have a brand it says KBV and uh, this is this looks like a kind of like a standard euro keyway a lot of the different brands have a keyway that looks very similar to this so I'm thinking like this is the quick set of Europe I'm not sure it works very nicely nice stainless steel key and then this one is a Tessa. Oh, this is one of my favorites because look, you take the key out. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this key. I'm not sure uh, who made this or if it was produced by. Uh, it might have been produced by the factory because if you see all the, look at the key pins though, or the uh, the, you know, all the channels there, the way they're drilled out are very uneven. And uh, this key looks like it was filed down by hand, but I'm not sure if it was or not. But uh, once you get it in, it's somewhat easy to use. So that's a, I like this one a lot. It's made by Tessa. Uh, and then this one here, I don't think uh, it has any brand or markings on it. Maybe if I clean this a little bit, something will pop up, but I'm not sure. On the key, something faint. I'm not, I cannot make it out. Very old. One, two, three, four, five pins. And see again, like that standard almost keyway, you know, which is a lot more difficult than Schlage or Quickset or uh, a lot of the keyways you see here. And then. Um, also, he sent me this one. This is a challenge lock. I'm not sure what this says. I'm pretty stupid, I guess, because I can't read your handwriting. Von Sebastian and something Von and Potty 314. I know, I know who that is. And it looks like the 17th of January 2016. It looks like a challenge lock made by Wilka uh, well that's the brand so I'll take a look at that um, so please tell me what that says Hadi, if you're watching and okay so that was everything for Michael uh, thank you so much Michael this is going to keep me busy for several years so thank you I hope you enjoy the package that I sent you I put different things in it and hopefully you will enjoy it and uh, this I received from a trade from Norway from, uh, this is from Gear Anderson. Uh, this is a Chioving, 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 however you want to say it. This is a Euro cylinder, double sided, no key. Uh, this side is busted in, so I, this one uh, will still turn, I think. I'm not sure if that will operate. But that's okay because I have this other side that operates freely. And I wanted to compare it to my Chauvin cylinder, which um, I didn't pick on camera because it's very difficult. It took me a while. I only picked it maybe a handful of times and I just took it apart recently. Uh, so anyways, you can see the keyway on the right that he sent me is a little more restrictive. The other one, this one, I can fit a 25,000 pick all the way from the bottom. Whereas this one, I have to pick at kind of an angle, I think. But uh, so, and number f he arranged these in uh, these pictures on keypicking.com. So thank you for that. Oops, sorry. And um, and then, so I appreciate that. I sent him a master lock. So or uh, no, a blue American lock. So hopefully you enjoy that. Um, and I did uh, send a six pin and driver. So. If you can pick it with five pins, then 
hopefully the sixth will help you. Make it a little, you know, make it a little harder. Not help you, but make it more difficult. <clears throat> and then these locks were, this is a Brinks with key, ultra security with keys and uh, master lock number three with keys. I got these back from my friend Steven, so I hope you enjoyed these. I don't think you, he was able to open up the uh, the ultra security one. Um, it's very similar to the one I picked on camera. It's bigger brother, um, but uh, he's very new. And I knew you, he was able to open up the number three and the and the Brinks. Uh, this was actually the first lock I purchased for lock picking. This was an American number three I got and uh, very easy to pick but this is kind of uh, my first lock and so I gave it to him as his first lock to pick. Uh, so thank you guys. Um, I plan on picking maybe the Isaiah on camera. Um, since I put it back together it's actually a little more difficult uh, to pick but uh, I'll get that done soon enough and uh, it's hard for me to determine where to start. I think I want to also take a crack at this one. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, happy picking.